Today we're going to be animating a duck. So stick around. Okay, so here we are. Let's go on over to Procreate and I'll show you what I've got done. Uh, I've got a duck here with his mouth open. So the legs are on its own separate layer. The legs are not going to move at all. And I've got them extra long. So if I turn the duck off, you can see they go up inside the body. That way, when the duck moves around, there won't be any gaps in the legs or anything. So that's always a good thing to do is to extend your items just a little bit. Uh, if you draw them just perfectly, it's going to leave gaps and it's not going to look good. So I've got those. I've got the duck all... Uh, grouped up together so let me open that up and show you what I got I've got three mouths I've got a closed mouth I have got a half open mouth and I have got a fully open mouth which we need to bring that opacity up all the way all right got two sets of eyes one looking down and one looking up and we're gonna change those out all right I'm just gonna turn everything on for right now uh, the ducks head is on its own separate layer which you know what I think it doesn't really matter because we've got them all grouped together but I could have actually pinched all those together and put them all on one layer which would have made things probably a little bit easier but that's fine because they are grouped uh, they're gonna move together anyway so that's what I've got the body is not gonna do anything it's just gonna kinda bounce up and down and his mouth's gonna open and we're going to do something else to him over in Dreams. So let's go on over to Dreams now. And we're going to start a new file by clicking on the plus right there. I like the widescreen HD. You can scroll through and pick whichever one that you like. We're going to go with an empty one. All right. The first thing we do is click on the title, which is Dream Some Number. And we're going to change the frames per second. Make sure you're on the very top choice here. All right. Mine's a star. And we're going to click on the frames per second and change that to 12. And the duration, we're going to make it 7 seconds. And we're going to go to the 1 minute here because it puts a 1 minute in there from the beginning. And we're going to hit backspace. And that's going to take that out. So 12 frames per second, 7 second animation in 1920 by 1080. Hit done. And there we are. Now we need to bring our files over in from Procreate. So let's go back over to Procreate. And I'm going to go into gallery view right here. And I'm going to just click on it. Until I can move around, don't pick up your finger, get out of that program, go into Dreams, and then drop him right in, just like that. Alright, and then as usual, this is exactly the same dimensions as your uh, Procreate Dreams file, so I like to resize it, grab a corner, and just make it a little bit bigger so it makes it a lot easier to fit that stuff in. Okay, so now what we have is we have a plain... Uh, picture file here. If we push play, it is not going to do, it doesn't move. Pictures don't move. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to long press on our file here and we need to convert the layers to tracks. So now you can see it's made a group. So if we click on that, now we have all of our little layers in there. Although we have not animated anything, so it's still not going to move. So that's what we're going to do right now is start making it move. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to animate the duck. So that I want to go ahead and open him up and turn off the mouse that I don't need right now. So I'm just going to uh, keep the one on that is closed, which is that one right there. So we're going to turn that one off. So he's just sitting there like that. And now we need to turn off one of the eyes too. So we're going to turn off that top one. Okay, that's what we want right now to start off with. So I'm going to close that duck group again. And then we're going to animate this duck together. So what I want him to do is I want him to bounce up and down and then I want him to go up a little bit and pause just a bit and then drop back down and bounce again. So I'm going to do that one cycle of animations and then I'm going to cut the duck and we'll duplicate them that way we don't have to animate that same sequence over and over again. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is click on the duck and we're going to hit move and move in scale. So we, that's where we want him to start off, so we're not going to do anything, we're not going to change it. And then we're going to bring it over just a bit, and we're going to move it, hit, hit it again, and we're going to raise his body up. 
and then we're going to come over just a little bit more and we're going to put the body back down where it was at and then the same thing raise him up bring him back down raise him up and bring him back down let me see how fast that is might be too fast no it's not too bad go up down up down up down okay let's let's do one more make him go up again make him come down again make sure that don't look funny no it looks fine okay all right and then we're gonna have him go up and up and he's gonna pause there just a little bit and then he's gonna drop back down where he started at I mean, let's see if that looks like maybe I wanted to pause just a little bit more so I'm gonna bring that last keyframe over a little bit before it drops back down yeah that's better There we go. You know what I might do is have him stay up. Boom. Then that back down quick. Maybe we'll re delete that one. Let's see what that looks like. No. Didn't like that one. Let's see what that looks like. It looks like it's coming down again right here which I don't want it to do I'm gonna do this last one to stay up no now it's moving over a little bit I don't want that I don't want to move them horizontally just vertically and then drop down okay I think that's it so bounce up down yeah that's better okay so that's what I want for that part so we got the whole duck moving so let's do his mouth now his mouth sequence so what I'm going to do is probably we'll probably cut actually I started a new keyframe I don't want that delete that one and then I'm going to move the playhead up to the main track here and hit edit and split so there's that one sequence that I was talking about alright so now let's go into the duck here and let's see if we can move his mouth so I'm gonna keep his mouth closed while he's bouncing but when he goes to that really high point right there so that's where he starts it we're gonna open his mouth halfway and that is this one so we're going to click on it we're gonna edit we're gonna split it and we're gonna turn it on right here and then we're gonna to go to that other mouth I'm going to bring that playhead down. We're going to edit and split it, and we're going to turn it off. All right, so that didn't work too well because that part right there. How can we fix that? Let's see. Let me see the part right there I'm gonna split it right there now we're gonna turn it off there we go all right and now we're gonna split it again edit and split it well we didn't need to do that actually we need to do this one up here so halfway open come over just a hair edit and split it again and now we're gonna turn him off I'm gonna go up to this one and we're gonna edit and split it and we're gonna turn that one on all right so now it should open all the way slowly then open all the way all right that's what we want and that's gonna stay open until he drops back down so we're going to split this one edit split it we're gonna turn it off and we're going to 
come to this one that's half and we're going to edit and split it and we're going to turn that one on and then we're going to edit and split it again no nope. need to come over a little bit more there we go we're going to turn that one off we're going to come down here to the wide open one edit and split it and then we're going to turn that one on so let's see okay we got two mouths on at the same time which we don't want so we need to turn Turn that guy off. And that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I like that. Okay. So now we have his mouth opening. I actually want it to stay open a little bit longer. Maybe let's see. I'll tell you what. We're going to shorten this guy, and we're going to go up to the one where he's all the way open and stretch him out a little bit. Let's stretch that one out. Let me see if that did it. Yeah, that's better. All right. So if you're enjoying the content, I have a small favor to ask that makes a huge difference. Subscribing to my channel is like giving a virtual high five and it means the world to me when you hit that subscribe button You're not just supporting the channel You're joining an incredible community of awesome people who love art just as much as you do Imagine being part of something bigger where every view like and comment helps us grow and reach more awesome folks Just like you plus subscribing is super easy. It's just one click But that one click has a ripple effect helping me create more content bringing new ideas to life, and spreading positivity all around. And hey, in the spirit of kindness, how about this? Subscribe and then go out and do something nice for someone today. Hold the door open for a stranger, leave a kind note for a co-worker, or simply smile at someone who looks like they need it. Let's make the world a bit brighter together. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and let's make amazing things happen. Thank you for your support. You're the reason this channel exists. Okay, so I think... Yep, okay, now let's do the eyes. So when he starts to open his mouth, right here, we're going to edit and split that one. And turn those eyes off. Go up to this, edit, split this one, and we're going to turn those eyes on. There we go. And then when he closes his mouth, we're going to change those eyes again. So about right here, edit and split, turn those eyes off, come down here, edit, split, and turn those eyes on. Yep, that's exactly what we wanted. All right, and then that's that one frame I was talking about, that one sequence uh, of the duck animation. All right, so now what we can do is we can delete these other ducks that we had. And we can hold long press on that one and copy it. And then come over here to some blank space over here and hit paste. And then you just got to slide it over there where it meets up with that one. So that's another sequence. And then same thing, click over here, paste it again. Make sure it's butted up right up against the other one. And then we got one more pasted here and oops slide it over to right there all right let's see what that looks like now yeah just perfect all right so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make him cry i know that was the secret so i got my duck track here selected i'm going to hit the plus sign and add a track above the duck track and we're going to draw these little tears in so what we're going to do is go into drawing mode here and I've already got the blue color selected for his tears and I'm going to draw 
Let me make my brush a little smaller. So I'm going to put some tear here, one there. And I want to do these by twos. So what animating by twos means is we're just going to duplicate this frame. So it's going to hold for two frames, if it'll let me. There we go. Duplicate it. There we go. So we got that same tiers. Okay, and then this one we're going to make a middle one here. All right, and then we're going to do the same thing. Do this one by twos. We're going to duplicate it. There we go. And then this one here, we're going to make another one coming out right here. And another one here. And if we wanted, we could make this one start to go away too. All right, and then we're going to duplicate this one. Uh, there we go. Duplicate. All right, and then we're just going to start that sequence over again. So a tear here. Wait a minute. What was the last one? Okay, now we need to move it over. So let me undo those two. So this middle one here. All right, and then we're going to duplicate him. Okay, and then we're going to do... Let's start to go away. We're going to make a new one come out right here. Just like that. And then we're going to hold down, duplicate that one. Yep. All right. And then what we can do is... Let's see if we... We'll wait till we start that new sequence over again. So maybe... We'll do this one here, and this one here. Where does it start at? It starts with that one, so we probably need to end up with it. Maybe that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete this one. We're going to delete this one, and we're going to delete that one. All right, and then when it starts over again, it's going to start from this one. So from there to there. Okay, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to click on that layers light menu. We're going to draw a line through all of those. And we're going to long press on it. We're going to hit group. So now we have all those crying things grouped. And we're going to click on it, hit copy. And then we're going to come over here and do like we did the other one. Paste it. Just make sure it's right up against it. And paste it again. And just keep doing that till you fill out your seven seconds. You could shorten this even further by drawing a line through all of those tiers, grouping them again, and you get a long group. Copy it, paste it, make sure it's, oh, I'm going to undo that one, make sure it's up against the other tiers, and see that almost made us finish. Right there. All right, and that is going to do it. And what I'll do is, like I always do, I'll leave the final animation at the end of the video. I hope this has helped you guys out. If you have any questions whatsoever, put them in the comment section, and I'll be happy to answer every single one of them. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share it with your friends. And I will see you guys next week for another Procreate or Procreate Dreams tutorial. Take care.